here with The Wigs, which is one of my favorite bands. So yeah. first of all, I want to give you all the two board CD album of the year. It's, <laughs> it's a good award. You should be honored. Thanks, man. Oh, Thanks last year it was my jam CD of the year. I love it. And uh, how is this tour going so far for you all? It's been it's been good. We're uh, we got a little Thanksgiving break uh, this past week, so we've been out for about a month, and then we spent time with family, and now we start back up in Austin tonight. So you're on Dave Matthews' label. Do you get to hang? Out? I used to always hate Dave Matthews until he was on the Adam Sandler movies. Then I was like, this is an awesome dude. But do y'all get to hang out with Dave Matthews ever? Never. We haven't done any hanging out. We've never met him actually. Never met him. Never met him. I'd like to. He's involved, but it's not like he's, you know, there's other great sort of partners and, and label folks that we actually work with directly, and um, and they've been great. And I'm sure he's great, but we don't really talk to him every day. What was it like playing for David Letterman, Joe? Is that a, uh, was that a dream to come true? Or? It, it was. I mean, we grew up and still watch shows, little late night shows, and see our favorite bands play, and whether it's an older group or a brand new band. So... You feel really familiar with those shows, and then all of a sudden, uh, you're on, you're standing there, you know. And we were, we happened to be really exhausted, and I think it just went by in a flash for all of us, and yeah. it was over. You play one song, so you don't. It's not like you have a whole show and you kind of can talk about it. It's so over and quickly. You're just like, I hope it was good. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's band just played a really good set. They're called a Giant Dog. Cheers. They're really good. Oh, Doyle rules! Fuck yeah! Before was it just you two kind of writing the songs, or? Yeah. And your old bassist is in MGMT now. Was he just recording with y'all, or was he your old member too? The guy Hank, our buddy, who um, we formed the band with. Um, and we played in the band for like four years, recorded one album, and um, he wanted to do his own thing. Um, and he's and he did a tour with MGMT, and um, Coroma is his new project. It's really good. He has one record out. It's called Paris, and it's an awesome record. And he's an awesome musician and fella. And, yeah, new record is comes out March 2nd. It's um, maintaining qualities of the first two records while, you know, hopefully going in a different direction um, because we're two years older than we were last time we made the record. So we've listened to new stuff and evolved a little bit while keeping the same um, qualities that are on the first two records, I guess. I don't, I'm not really good at describing it, in case you can't tell. <laughs> G's your favorite chord? I love G. G is my favorite chord, yes. <laughs> what? Okay, so I do this one when I'm bored. So what do y'all like to do when y'all are bored? What hobby? Do y'all have any special hobbies, interests, besides writing songs and touring? Reading. Reading. Reading's fun. Listening to music. What's your favorite book? Right. Um, actually, I haven't read the... Um, Oh my god, I'm about to forget the name of it. The unlikely un unbearable, likeness, un unbearable of likeness of being that Parker uh just um 
let me borrow. So, no, I gave it um, to or gave it to me rather. So I've been I, gifted it twice. Uh, been gi- yeah, Parker keeps getting gifted this one book. People keep <laughs> giving it to me. So like. it, I feel like everyone's read it but me. So that's my next one. What was it called again? Unbearable likeness of being. Check that out. Great book. Uh, what about you? Any hobbies? Hobbies? Special int- when you're bored. What do you do? Any, any. I read in the van. Um, and you know, I really don't have that much time to get bored. To be honest, my goal of Thanksgiving break was to get bored, and it never really happened. Found something to do always. So you're always on tour, living the good life. That's right. Yeah, we're very lucky. Are you an Astros fan? Yes. Do you not like the Astros? I love the Astros. I love. Yeah, nineties Astros. BGO at album right now new artist are old what do you listen to uh, new album favorite the new Devendra Banhart came out the new Devendra Banhart record came out and I'm I'm pretty upset about it actually I shouldn't say this I should actually just shut up right now so I'm gonna shut up he loves it I read a bad review of it and I can't believe that it let me dissuade I mean that it dissuaded me from buying the record immediately but it did which is so stupid I did you can't. Yeah, I went and I got it, and it's great. I'll March second is our new record, um, so we're excited. Get excited. Is there any any uh, theme to the album? Or is it just a bunch of random songs <laughs> put together on a CD? Um, I don't know. Can both those things coexist? Does it have to be one or the other? <laughs> what? Are you, feeling, are you feeling alone right now? I'm feeling kind of alone. Backstage, talking to a guy in an Astros hat, drinking a hot Bud Light. <laughs> it's not really the, um, you know, Motley Crue lifestyle. <laughs> Come back, and whatever I'll I'll tell people to go. It'll be at least ten people there next time, so it's gonna be awesome. I love y'all. Love you Keep guys. it good. Thank you.